Mr. Echo 3, X-Ray, Bravo, Oscar. Uh, Roger, and what's the name there? Name there? Uh, the name here is uh, Bart uh, Bravo Alpha Romeo Tango in Meaford, Ontario, 100 miles uh, north of Toronto. Wow, I don't even have to go to a, a uh, Ontario SDR. Man, you're, I'm uh, copying you on uh, the uh, Milford, uh, Pennsylvania SDR, Roger. Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, you're a strong 5'9 here and no problem hearing you. Roger, what uh, radio are you running, sir? Running, sir. Uh, running an ICOM 7100 with a stock microphone and a G5RV uh, around 35 feet at the apex. Oh, Roger that. And what microphone? Uh, it's a microphone that comes with the radio. Um, I, uh, it's the MH198. Roger, I just uh, switched to my local antenna. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's a little more full, a fuller uh, signal than on the SDRs. Uh, I did want to give you a, a more accurate uh, air check uh, for part of it anyway, frequency response-wise. Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. Um, yeah, I, I think I got it uh, tuned now uh, to uh, the way I want it to sound. Yes, it looks really good on the meter, man. You're doing about uh, two and a half dB dynamic range, somewhere around there. Uh, probably running about uh, eighty-five percent average peak modulation. Okay. All right. I guess that's pretty good on this scope, then. Oh, Roger, yes, for anybody. <laughs> you know, uh, folks start out with unprocessed audio running about uh, 30% uh, peak, uh, average peak modulation. And then as you um, work with it, uh, you know, you can uh, uh, reduce the dynamic range. And uh, when you get to about uh, 3 dB or 2.5 dB of dynamic range, uh, it's probably sounding about... Uh, Maybe twice as loud as where you were. Maybe two and a half times louder than than uh, what you you know started out with uh, unprocessed audio, Roger. Uh, Roger on that. I am uh, uh, running a little bit of uh, compression. Uh, it's at three out of ten. I can turn it off and uh, see if it's any different. No, no. That's exactly what I recommend. Uh, is a three out of ten. And then check your ALC for mid-range uh, operation to uh, two-thirds, Roger. Roger, that's basically how it's done. Sounds good. And the only thing left is the EQ, you know, and then, and then that depends on whether you, uh, you know, favor uh, QSO kind of uh, EQ or uh, contest and DX, you know. And what I have found that usually if you, uh, you, you know, if you have a three-band EQ, if you leave uh, 1KC flat, 1KC flat, and then go up to the top and crank in uh, two or three uh, uh, clicks on the top end, and then it all gets down to the bottom end as, as to whether you want to uh, to QSO, you have it uh, fuller on the bottom end, and if you want to uh, CQDX and all that stuff, contest, you roll some of that bottom off, but uh, you know, you, you once you get that top end, you don't, you don't want to force a bunch of mid-range in there, you know, the, the top end has all of the articulation so, you know, by and large, if you're running uh, probably about as wide as you can run, like uh, 3KC, 100 cycles to 3KC or something like that, I would suggest that. And then, uh, you know, just a, a couple of clicks or three on the top end and, and then get that bottom end to, to uh, you know, where you want to do a QSO or uh, a contest. Roger. Uh, Roger on that. On that, uh, I do have the uh, wide, uh, uh, medium, and and, uh, and narrow uh, bandwidth uh, I can transmit on, and there's three settings uh, that I can alternate between the the the, the, uh, the three. Uh, I I could, uh, on top of that, uh, uh, do the transmit EQ adjustment uh, if I want a, a distant uh, uh, station t um, uh, to be heard. Uh, so um, I usually just went with the medium or, or narrow bandwidth when I transmit uh, uh, in the DX land. Roger. Well, you know, the thing is, uh, you're, you're restricting the top end, and the top end is where all your articulation is. Think about uh, when you, you know, your marginal signal, and your audio is right down there in the noise. If you've got uh, a nice... Uh, 
clean, articulated top end. If folks can hear the words you're saying, even though you're not making uh, making it over the noise, you're in exactly in with the noise, but you are more articulated in your audio, and they can actually hear what you're saying. Roger. Hey, Roger. Oh, okay, so the legibility increases with the uh, increase of articulation on the higher end. Uh, is that what you mean? Yeah, uh, the broader you you run your radio, uh, the more top end you're going to get there. So I don't I don't uh, suggest running over three, but I I do suggest uh, being all that you can be and and running a, a three. Roger. Roger. Okay, I I understand. Well, thank you very much uh, for that information. I will uh, tinker with it some more. Roger, Roger. I think uh, I think you'll find that uh, that's true, and also in receive, you know, that that will help you receive also uh, from the standpoint of being able to uh, to hear a little bit better in the top end, which is uh, you know contributes so much to uh, enunciation, uh, particularly in marginal situations. Roger. Roger. Uh, Roger. I think I have the receive uh, uh, dialed in. I, I'm, uh, I'll be using a parametric EQ, a professional EQ with with a really good mid-range speaker, which uh, which uh, it's um, unbelievable uh, how much more I can hear with it. Oh, Roger that. Well, you know the problem is uh, they use a two-dollar speaker on a ten-thousand-dollar radio. Radio. Exactly. <laughs> I think my speaker is worth more than the radio. Roger, Roger. Well, the thing is uh, to enjoy, uh, you know, and uh, if hearing exactly the way you want to hear it uh, adds to your enjoyment, uh, I mean, there, <laughs> there's no written law that you have to be uh, uh, any particular uh, receive curve, you know. You, this is uh, enjoy time, Roger. Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. Well, thank you again uh, for uh, for the info. Uh, I bet you have a lot of people lined up, so I don't want to tie up the uh, the frequency. So uh, V3XBO, uh, we'll be clear on listening. Roger, Roger. What was the name there again, please? Again, please. Uh, it's a Bart Bravo Alpha Romeo Tango. That's right, Bart. My doodling got in the way of my <laughs> the important stuff. Stop doodling. Gosh. Uh, threes, Bart. Uh, we'll catch you later. Have a good afternoon and a good evening. And if you get a chance, uh, join us uh, next Friday. We'd love to have you. This is KC9VKV, where we uh, have a QSO Vlog program, which is in effect right now. And we uh, uh, roll and record from uh, 3.30 till 5 Eastern. And if you have uh, a radio that you want to check out the audio, uh, give us a shout. Uh, we're standing by. This is KC9VKV. KV.